we'll go through the normal distribution. So what is it? We see a graph here, and it shows a type of continuous probability distribution for a numerical random variable. So as you can see, we have the mu in the middle, that is the mean, and to the left and to the right, we add one standard deviation, that is sigma. If we add one standard deviation to the left, that would be 34.1% for the probability, so the area under the curve. It is the same if we add it to the right. If we add two standard deviations, then we have 34.1 plus 13.6. So that'd be the total probability. We need to translate this into a notation. And we see that there's the mean, and that would be the population mean. And the sigma would be the population standard deviation. Then we use the table. The area that is under the curve corresponds to this big box. So all of these numbers, they correspond to the area that is under the curve. And it is represented in the form of probability. We have the column in here and the row in here, and these will be the set score. And sometimes we write it at the bottom, the set score, at this specific point. So let's look at an example. If the set score were to be 0.33, then we look at the green box. And then the green box corresponds to the column. And then the black box in here would be 0 0.03. And that would be the row in here. And they merge to 0 0.1293. And that would be the area under the curve, this specific area that is shaded. So once again, 0 0.33, I can split it apart into 0 0.3 plus 0 0.03. Sometimes we don't get the set score directly. So if we're given x instead, then we use this equation. And this equation, we call it standardization. And standardization is used whenever we need to convert x into z. And once we convert it into z, then we can use the table. Let's look at an example. So in a bakery shop, the spending of a croissant follows a normal distribution with a mean of $32 and a standard deviation of $6. What is the probability that a customer spends less than $30 for a croissant? So the very first step that we should do is to let x equals to the customer's spending. And we can write down this probability in terms of inequality. So x is the customer spending less than $30. So less than is this inequality here. 30 would be the $30, and that would be the x. we can transform this into a graph. So once again, in the middle, that is the mean, and the mean is 32, as they already said it in here. And 30 is less than 32, so it is to the left. And they said the customer spends less than. So less than, we shade in the left area. Then, we can convert the x into z using the standardization formula. So the mean is 32, and the standard deviation is 6, which is written in the question. So when you put this into the calculator, you should get negative 0 0.33. And we can translate the terms from x and mu into z score. And why do we need to do that? Because we need to use the table. So we have 0 0.33 in the positive area. But do you see in here? We have a negative. So we need to flip the graph 
and put it as 0 0.33 negative. But it is essentially the same because they are symmetrical. So now, once again, let's revise. We have 0 0.33, and they can be broken down into 0 0.3 and 0 0.03. So for the first part, 0 0.3 in the 10th digit, we look at the column of the set score. And for the hundredth digit, we look at the row in here. So they merge to 0 0.1293. So the area would be 0 0.1293. So as we mentioned earlier, half of this is 50, 50%, 50 which is 0 0.5 because the total is 100. So if the whole thing is 100, half is 50, then the middle part is 0 0.1293. In order to get the little area towards the tail, then we subtract 0 0.5, take away 0 0.1293. And there we have it, 0 0.3707. 